What's going on, Count Saver? Gonna teach you how to catch bass in a Lone Star Lake and fishing planet. In this episode, how to bass. Now, you're gonna want to spend about two hundred dollars on at least a one day license for this, because even if you uh, don't feel like it's worth two hundred dollars to get the advance license, you're gonna make that money back in about two fish. Two fish for one license. That's a fucking great deal. And if you don't end up getting the license, you're gonna have to end up paying hundred dollars each uh, bass you end up taking out that water. So I think it's a great deal to take. You're going to want to look at that graph. That graph shows you the best times of the day to catch fish. On this map, on a sunny day, 11 o'clock to around 7 8 o'clock are peak fishing hours. It is real fishing hours, alright? You're going to want to fish in those times or whenever it's yellow on that goddamn graph. Alright, you can do this at very low levels. All you need is a spinning rod which you can buy the first spinning rod available, a gold one-third ounce size one hook casting spoon. That is the main items you really need. Besides that, you're all set. You're going to want to start on Swampy Exploration, where that bridge is. When you go up to the bridge, take a left away from the bridge. Start going down that path, and you're going to end up seeing, uh, eventually, this one little area you can go into immediately turn to the right into that then immediately turn right again to go down that bank and then you'll finally see the spot that we're looking for in this video it's marked by a buoy that way you can see it clearly we're gonna want to cast to almost that bridge that's about 100 feet out there but you can also short serve it you can go at least 80 feet it doesn't matter we're able to catch fish from 80 to about 10 feet in now if you're from any other country then also play this game i'm not going to go to this metric system just to show you what it is just use a calculator or some shit and convert that to goddamn meters so that way you can actually play this game now while that spoon's all the way cast out there Wait till it sinks to the bottom. Then, start reeling in at the lowest possible speed. When you're reeling in, it should say, slow straight. Make sure it stays below the water. Every once in a while, you can just let it sink back down. This way, we can get the fish to start falling. You let those fish follow as far as possible. Once you hit 20 feet in, you should be able to slow down even more. Because there is a chance that a fish was following you all the way back to shore. This method is a very good method in this game to get money. A spotted bass is about $77 per pound. On average, you catch like a 1.5 pounder. And then you're, you're set. You can just keep on filling in your inventory all day. Get like one grand. And that's simple. Alright. It's a good method for beginners because you get easy money. Not so good for experience though. Now, for experienced players, you just go here for free. Instead of spending $10,000 to go to some other fucking place, because this game decided to change all the fucking values from 2015, where it only cost $300 to go to the next place, now it's $1,200 to go to the next place, where all the cool catfish are, even though those things aren't even worth that much money. Oh, besides the fact they had fucking kayaks that are fucking $30,000, they are fucking useless unless you're on, like, certain maps. And it's not like you're going to go to those maps, because they cost $10,000 to go to. Now, there's only one real problem with this method. You end up catching these fucking slimy disgrace of the pike family called the goddamn grass pickerel, which are fucking tiny as fuck. They give you barely any money. The only thing they could be slightly good for is just their experience. And that's about it. They randomly show up time from time. You could probably tell when you caught, you're caught you catching one because their fucking fight is shit compared to these bass. Hope this guide helped you all of you fucking cucks who came and fucking fish. And as always, uh, go fuck yourself. That's a new catchphrase. Fuck you.